it's really nice to be here. Uh, as Siok said, uh, I'm from Czech Republic and I'm from Court of Moravia, which basically it means that we do two things. We do LARPs for public and we do LARPs for companies, uh, educational LARPs. And uh, this means that uh, our goal is uh, to make those LARPs as most accessible for newcomers as possible. And uh, this is what I want to talk about, uh, how to make the f your first LARP experience valuable. It doesn't have to be good, <laughs> it, it should be valuable. Uh, so welcome to LARP and let's play. And I want to start uh, with a short story of my own uh, first LARP experience. It happened in the year 2004 and I have to warn you, this is a scary story, really scary. Uh, my friends invited me to play a LARP and they offered me that I can become a ghost in this magical fairy world. And I said, cool, that's fun, I want to try it. So they said to me that I will go downtown uh, to the city, the city kind of the same, same size as of, of, of Oslo, and I will meet other players and I will recognize them quite clearly because they will be wearing these badges on their coats. So I put on my costume, I put on my makeup, and I went down the city, and actually nothing happened. I was not able to meet anybody, uh, because they forgot to tell me where exactly to go, where to find these people with those badges, what they are going to do. Uh, so my first LARP experience, uh, I was alone and lost in a city. And uh, probably this uh, made me quite passionate about uh, newcomers to LARP, because I really don't my players to be lost. So how do I do it? Uh, I use structured games. Uh, imagine a scenario about uh, French Revolution. There are 10 people, they are hiding in a pub, uh, Bastilla is falling down, there are riots in the town, and uh, uh, these people are trying to like, hide away from the revolution. In the first act, uh, Game Master will be playing with you, he will be the innkeeper and he will show you what we mean by role-playing and he will guide you. In the second part, you know that uh, there is a time to uh, express uh, all your secrets and uh, reach your goals. And in the third part, uh, you know that uh, you will have chance to kick somebody out from the inn and leave him to the revolutionary crowd. And why is this? Because uh, quite each minute uh, of the game, uh, each player knows uh, what uh, he is supposed to do. The game lasts only for two hours. Yeah, a game master is a guide, uh, which means uh, that his goal is not only to run the game, but guide you through the whole process. Uh, he should relax you, uh, because uh, it is absolutely okay to feel a little bit stressed and worried about your performance when we are first on a LARP. And of course, he should motivate you to experiment, to try out things and to improvise. And we ask uh, our community players uh, to bring their friends f for the first time to our LARPs because uh, I think this is the best solution to have somebody who grab your hand and say, I will be here, I will be here with you and it's okay, so don't worry. And we make the game uh, plug and play, which means uh, they last only for one evening, so it's not so huge amount of time you put in there and uh, we don't expect any preparation beforehand. You just come and play, it's uh, easy. So this was how we do it and now how we tell it to our people. Um, we assume that uh, LARP is a public event, which means everybody can come and of course we invite uh, television, newspaper, magazine people to shout out loud to the world that uh, LARP is cool and you should try it. And of course we use uh, some videos uh, to tell people what LARP is and I would like to show you a small piece uh, from uh, one of our videos and uh, it's in Czech but it has English subtitles. Hey, tak jsem šlechtic Sinclair, který pátrá po svojí ženě. Jo, no to si přečti, tam zjistíš jaká ta tvoje postava vlastně je, co chce v životě. A tak, co chce dosáhnout, jakou má povahu. Jako kdybys byl herec a dostaneš svou velkou roli. 
Já si ale žádný scénář učit nebudu. Já jsem si nezapamatoval ani básničku na základ. Ale to ani nemusíš. Lark nemá žádný scénář, prostě se chováš tak, jak si myslíš, že by se choval šlechtit Sinclair. Co je? Vidíte revolucionáře! Víme, že tam jsou! Už to začíná. Mesi je Sinclair! Musíme ho vydat gardě. Prosím, ne, pane, nedělejte to! Co mám dělat? Já co když něco pokazím? Larp nejde zkazit, prostě si představ, že si ten šlechtic a něco řekni. Já nejsem herec. Oni taky ne. Tak co bude? Vyhoďte ho ven! Pane Sanka, když je ušetříte, já vám řeknu, kde je vaše žena. Hej, hej, to chci. Ten chlap zůstane tady. Hola to. So basically what I wanted to say is that we really like newcomers and here are three reasons why. Uh, they listen. When you give them instructions, they really listen because they have no pre-understanding, no pre-justices. They just listen to you. And they are very focused because they want to do it right. And they are natural. And this is quite a my opinion, but I feel like they uh, merge their own feelings with uh, the feelings uh, of the character and uh, they are acting in a very natural way. They are not overacting, they are not over the top. And I want to end up with a quotation of a 60-year-old LARPer who started LARPing when he was 55 and his daughter mm, bring him to uh, one of our LARPs. And after this experience he said, I came, came across LARP more or less by coincidence. There are only few things in my life that have touched me, moved me and changed me so much. Thank you very much. <laughs>